to our winter choral concerts. It is going to be an amazing show, so we're so happy that you're here. All right, without further ado, I just lost Mr. Zumchek, but I'm sure he's out there. I'm going to turn the mic. There he is. I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Zumchek and enjoy the concert.
Bonsoir, cette chanson, c'est une chanson qui s'appelle « Je ne fais jamais si assez » qui était écrite par Linda Spavel. J'espère que vous aimerez. Hello, good evening. Tonight we will be singing a French song called The Sound of Pipe and Drum, uh, written by Linda Spavik. Hope you enjoy. We are also happy to welcome back our choir accompanist, Miss Anita Davidson, who will be playing the harpsichord, well, electronic harpsichord, but yeah. Um, on this piece. Also, we have a number of instrumentals, all from our choir. Okay, while the eighth grade are walking up to the stage, I am gonna tell, start talking for the first time. Hey, students, have you ever heard me go that long without talking? Okay, really? Um, so here's a story that's somewhat embarrassing. Uh, about 25 years ago, amongst my many jobs, catering, being on Broadway, working in a box office, of course, uh, things like that, I had to wear a giant snowman costume for a puppet company in Brooklyn. And, um, you know, it was money, so that was good. Uh, anyway, during a tour that ended up in Buffalo, New York, and if you know anything about the weather in Buffalo, New York, um, well, yeah, it's like Syracuse, only they complain more than we do. But uh, 
So this sort of occurred to me. And uh, any Rolling Stones fans out there? Okay, I was hoping for more, but anyway. Hopefully you know the song, hopefully you appreciate this. If you just are confused, just enjoy the tragedy of the snowman known as uh, Frosty, so enjoy. And this features, of course, Gianna Moore, and we are White Slush! has obviously become popular again due to the recent animated film, but The Grinch has been a favorite part of the ho holiday season for decades.
three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote. Decca sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. With arsenic sauce. The song features soloists Brian Tobin and Abby Duncan. Now we will leave Whoville and travel back to medieval England. The song Green Sleeves was written in the 16th century and is thought that the composer was King Henry VIII of England. Though he was a violent and strict ruler, he was also known for his love of art, music, poetry, and dance.
Наша следующая песня «Родом с Украины», где она была написана 102 года назад. Песня называется «Щедрик», что означает «Ласточка». Эта песня была адаптирована украинским композитором Николаем Леонидовичем для хорового исполнения. В этой новогодной хоровой «Ласточка, летающая в дом» превращает удачу и богатый урожай в наступающем году. В 1936 году эта песня была переделана на новый лад и переведена на английский, в результате чего рождественской хоровой. Мы надеемся, она вам понравится. Желаем вам счастья и благополучия в новом году. by Mikado Lintovich, who is best known for writing a cappella choral music and has been called the Ukrainian Bakken. The lyrics and the four-note chant that the song plays in, however, are from older pagan traditions dating to long before Christianity. In this New Year's carol, a swallow bird flies into a house at the New Year and is a sign of good fortune and a prediction of a good crop for the year. Twenty years later, in 1936, this song was revised with new English lyrics and became a Christmas carol with a completely different meaning. This one is the original though. We hope you enjoy Shedrick and we wish you a happy and prosperous new year. again really quick and then they finish up and they do their thing. Uh, I'd like to thank several people and I'm going to do it really really fast. Our awesome administration here, Ms. Flosky, and our new uh, Vice Principal, Mr. Solomon, Mr. Lou Solomon, Assistant Principal, sorry. Um, we have a new Superintendent, Dr. Ross Kaysen. Of course, our Art Supervisor, Supervisor Related Arts, Damien, Dr. Damien Bariask is here. Thank you for coming out. And thank you to all of our parents who came today and yesterday to help with crowd control in the various locations here, cafeteria and the music room, where they were really appreciated. Uh, thanks to Sam, Yamin, our awesome custodian. Without that, we couldn't have done this. And to our white one performing arts class who did a lot of schlepping. You guys rock. Where are you represented? Thank you. And. Um, yeah, and thanks to you for coming out. And thanks to my dad who's made it back safely, I see, I appreciate that. And, oh yeah, thanks, thanks to you guys too, you're pretty awesome. Despite what I tell you during the day, I actually think you're really, no, I'm just kidding. I, th I think you're really awesome. So, um, we will wrap up now with our final song, and please welcome uh, Elisa, you ready? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to rip the mic away from you. 
our wonderful accompanist, Miss Anita Davidson. I knew I forgot. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Get home safe, and we'll see you back here soon. Our final piece tonight is a combination of two traditional Hebrew folk songs, Shalom Habarim and Habarim Shalom Alham. It features our combined 7th grade and 8th grade court priors. Shalom is Hebrew for peace. We hope, we, all have, we hope you all have a peaceful holiday season. <laughs> very much. You can meet your respective seventh graders in, oh, I've forgotten something, Mrs. Clark. Yeah, I know. I didn't thank you and Ron. I told you. Melissa Clark and Ron Tagarino are their music teachers. Students, you can start to... So, good night. Thank you all for coming out. We really enjoyed having you. Students, you can start to...